<laughs> well, weather now and the hot June days give way to glorious June's sunsets. Don't take our word for it. Take a look at this wow. image Mike Thronson captured of the brilliant sun reflected in the Milwaukee River. It's still a few days away, Brian, but Mike's picture makes me think of summer solstice time. It's just a few days away. Yeah. And now after Courtney's story, <laughs> <laughs> very exciting life I lead. Home, work, Jimmy John's, and baseball fields. <laughs> Not very exciting. It's awesome. 91 today. Whew. And it was humid this morning. Within this afternoon, those dew points dropped a lot throughout the day. Uh, and this evening was absolutely perfect. It was 86 in West Bend, 92 in Burlington. Now, if you're heading out to Aaron Hills tomorrow morning, it looks to be very nice. Temperature 76 degrees already by 7 a.m. A light southeast breeze. The humidity is going to be rising throughout the day. We won't be in the 90s like we were today. But by noon, partly to mostly cloudy in 83. More humid and look for some thunderstorms to start popping up after 5 o'clock out toward the golf course. Right now, we actually have a few thunder showers on the map. They've been staying south of us and traveling to the southeast, but we can't rule out an isolated shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder after midnight tonight. For tomorrow, the severe weather risk stays to the southwest of us. On Saturday, it moves over us, and I'll show you why here in a second. We're still 76 degrees in Milwaukee, 66 in West Bend, and 72 in Whitewater. The wind has died down. The humidity level is low. This is a gorgeous night outside and it will continue throughout the next couple of hours. We may see a rumble of thunder, though, as I mentioned, sometime after midnight by 6 a.m. into the upper 60s. By 10 a.m., already 80 degrees and becoming more humid around southeastern Wisconsin. Temperatures in the mid 80s and we'll see those thunderstorms developing late in the day. Most of the day is dry. The dew points dropped into the upper 50s. Yesterday we were in the lower 70s, much more comfortable, but it's short lived as the higher dew points to our south will be moving in and you'll feel a little bit more of that humidity for tomorrow afternoon. It will be very humid on Saturday, but then drying out for Sunday as well as Monday. Tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s across the area, a little bit cooler right on the water in Racine and in Shorewood. Here's the future forecast for tonight. Most of the rain stays to our south. Tomorrow looks to be a dry day until we get to about 5 o'clock and then some scattered thunder showers start popping up. A better chance of rain after sunset. Not expecting any severe weather. Saturday, however, a different story. Most of the day is dry. Check out the timing. Sometime after 4 or 5 o'clock, here comes a wall of water and some of this will be severe with heavy downpours, uh, some heavy winds and even some hail as well. But tonight, just a few isolated showers to our south. Temperatures dropping into the upper 60s. Tomorrow, a better chance of rain after I'd say 4 or 5 o'clock, a high temperature of 86 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperature tomorrow, 86, 83 and humid with thunderstorms late in the day on Saturday. Sunday for Father's Day, 77, less humid, a little breezy, some showers on Monday in 74 and then next week looks very comfortable with highs near 80 degrees. So if they can get the golf in on Saturday, I think we're fine. I mean, you're, you're going to get most of the golfers in. It's just that late afternoon to evening that we're worried about. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Okay, thank you, Brian. You